Brexit talks appear to be stalling, but as the prospect of no deal looms ever closer, Irish officials are increasingly frustrated with the UK for picking and choosing what the EU can offer. EU officials visited London this week for trade talks, as the race to reach an agreement before the UK officially leaves the bloc in December has intensified. Brussels has suggested that the EU is still working, constructively, but implied that David Frost, the UK's top negotiator, has not made the relevant concessions. A European Commission spokesman explained, we are working hard to overcome the significant divergences that remain between us. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, however, has warned the EU to prepare for no trade deal. The latest developments will have left some in Ireland devastated, as the UK is one of its main trade partners. Indeed, the Irish Times reported in June that Irish food exports to the UK could result in 1.35 billion euros 1.21 billion pounds of tariffs, unless a trade deal is found. Irish European Affairs Minister Helen McEntee explained at a webinar event hosted by PwC, no deal would have serious implications for those sectors and there will need to be supports put in place. The Irish Times claimed that Ms McEntee painted a gloomy picture of the Brexit talks during her speech. She continued, what the UK is asking for and offering in return is not where we need to be. What the UK is being offered is unparalleled access to the single market. But what they are looking for is access to this market, with their own qualifications and standards without actually complying to the rules and regulations. She continued to lay into the UK, claiming, it's unprecedented that a member state, or any other third country, would have access of this level or of this scale without having to take on board some of the rules and regulations that create that level playing field. She added, there has to be agreement on all areas, it's not a matter of picking and choosing. The trade talks have since stalled over access to the UK fisheries, a level playing field and the governance of a potential agreement. 